Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Noonor Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to find your original file format, I mean your original video clips and photos within the iMovie library. Um, that way you can actually back them up just in case you don't, you can't find them anywhere else. And they are on your iMovie though, as you, you can find them within iMovie, but you can't find them anywhere else, this is what I'm basically saying. So. First off, we're going to go up to the top right hand corner with our mouse and click a little, the little spyglass icon which will bring up spotlight search. Within the spotlight search, we're going to search iMovie, you got to spell it right, lib, lib, library. And I'm saying, if I'm saying library wrong, I'm sorry, may have still a little bit of an accent, but did I spell it right? There we go. <laughs> it's taking a little bit, but what we want is we want this little uh, option where it says top hits. All these little options show up here, and as you can see, we have iMovie Library here. What we're going to do at the very bottom here, we're going to click on the Show All in Finder. Simply select that, actually double click it, and it'll open up in Finder. Give it a moment, of course. There we are. Now, what we're going to do is going to scroll down to Other where it says iMovie Library. I'm trying to say it correctly here. And uh, I'm going to go to Show Package Contents. What I did here was I simply right clicked the icon itself. You don't double click it to launch it. We're not going to do that, but we're going to right click it. If you have, if you don't have a mouse, but you're losing, using a laptop and you have the little tracking pad, um, if you put two fingers on a tracking pad and uh, press N, you'll be able to right click it. Also, if you, at the very bottom right hand corner of your tracking pad, you press and it should do it should right click it but the easiest way I find it is put two fingers on the tracking pad and it will right click for you. Go to show package contents now and within the contents you'll be able to find all of your events as you can see if I launch iMovie here I have several events here college, iMovie, tutorials there's actually there's just no normal films other so I'm gonna minimize here and show you guys that they're, they're here. Um, there's other ones here like updated projects too um, that you can remove, which will actually remove them. Before you remove anything actually from here, I do suggest you take note, take a look what's inside. If it's just empty, it's fine, but make sure that any changes you make here will also affect your iMovie library. So I suggest taking caution when you're removing stuff from your actual iMovie library folder. So what we're going to do is going to do our iMovie tutorial um, event, which is in our project, and you can find the additional folders inside. The one we're looking for is original media. This is where you'll find whatever footage or photos are within that actual event at that time and this is all that's that's all we have within it. And from here you can also back this up. You can uh, duplicate it and then uh, back it up to a hard drive just in case you want to really make sure you don't lose those files. And here you can also find additional additional footage and the actual projects themselves within here that can only most likely be opened up through iMovie. These here, your original media will be able to be opened up within as what they're de designated through. Like these will be QuickTime, this will be Preview, and this will be uh, most likely iTunes. But other than that, be sure to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. Be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. It's just simply right clicking on iMovie Library and going Show Package Contents. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next tutorial. Later. Let my life be the proof.